welcome to Celebrate Aging. I'm Vicki Marthaler, your hostess here today on the Ecumen Detroit Lakes campus. And I have got the two best residents here at the nursing <laughs> home that love to uh, tell stories about what's going on. And we're talking about how it's not an easy laid back place or stuff happening all the time and something going on all the time all right. the time all the time and Darlene just told me that Janice who is in our activity department can talk her into anything <laughs> there's no sitting around for you no no <laughs> sure isn't <laughs> so this is Darlene uh, Everhart mm -hmm. that's a nice long name <laughs> you had to sign on your check and this on my left is Joan Kaser and that's shorter than Everhart. <laughs> we can remember that. And they had a few items that were exhibited at the fair. So we wanted first to highlight that because one of the things that we have at Emmanuel is a painting program. Mm -hmm. And I yep. guess yep. almost a year, Joan, I suppose over a year maybe we've done it. Yeah. No, I don't think it was that long. It's about that long, but I know mm -hmm. it's one of our staff. Yeah. Uh, she actually works in the kitchen, and she likes to paint, and she asked the residents if they would like to paint. And so, uh, is it like once a month? Yeah, but something like that, yeah. She picks an item uh, to, to paint, to draw, and they draw it and paint it, and here we have uh, Darlene did uh, exhibited her pretty butterfly. Love it. Are you a painter? Have you painted before? I draw. I'm a drawer. Oh. I used to draw faces all the time. Really? Well, that's interesting. And when pe pe people, and then when they start wearing glasses, I quit. <laughs> 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 then I got See, my, uh, <laughs> my, mother, my mother does oil painting, and my youngest sister went to uh, school in, in Minneapolis, up, and then she, she does painting, wow. uh, watercolor. Watercolor. Beautiful flowers. Oh. So you have art in your family. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now you're continuing it here at Emmanuel. <laughs> Have, I, was the butterfly your favorite, or did you? I I did that balloon too, but I I think I like the butterfly the best. So. Okay. Yeah, I've got the balloon. I didn't have it framed. <laughs> well, of course, this is a hot air balloon. It's yeah, almost fun yeah. to go up in it, huh, yeah. Joan? Yeah, I oh, painted yeah. that too. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> and I remember the clouds. Yeah. And they put little birds in here. Mm -hmm. They have mm -hmm. a lot of detail. It's oh really, yeah. It's really yeah. fun. It's yeah. really fun. Now, Joan, you have art in your background, too, don't you? You've been interested in art? Yeah. Now, where did you go to high school? Crazy. Crazy. And they had art classes there, because I know you told me about that. <laughs> and uh, when you got older, though, you were, your preferred, I think this is more like just different tempera paints, but you preferred uh, not watercolor, but what? Oil? Oil, yeah. She was into oil. <laughs> and my mother did oil painting. Yeah? And what? You can't hang up oil paints to dry. Oh, they have to dry. They take a long time. I suppose they call it almost like you have to season them in a way. <laughs> I suppose. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we do have, it's nice to know that here at Emmanuel, if, if there's been activities that the residents have been involved in for for a lifetime that they can continue with that. And here now we had these exhibits at the fair and they got some ribbons and I know many of the other residents too have done that in mm -hmm. the past. So mm -hmm. it's, it's always fun to know mm -hmm. that that's going on around here. <laughs> not yeah. sitting looking at the walls. No, but not too long ago I didn't go. They had a parrot she wanted to make. And I thought, what am I going to do with some? I got so much in my room now. <laughs> So well, I didn't. You, I didn't go. You get, did go didn't paint go. the parrot, <laughs> but you know you could give it as a gift. Well, I could have. Yeah, you got to think about that, Darlene. Boy, no excuses for Darlene. We're not letting Darlene get by. <laughs> no excuses. Another thing, Darlene, that you in, that you entered in the fair was. Yeah, not that crazy color one, but. <laughs> you didn't. You didn't put in the crazy colored one. No. No. But it's a crochet. My, yeah. No, it's not crochet. Not, it's knitted. It's knitted. No. Very knitted. So these are beautiful washcloths, and I know you're dishcloths. Dish dish, dish oh, they're awesome. 
I don't think you want to wash your face with them. You don't? Well, maybe not. <laughs> I, could, I could come up with multicolored. I wouldn't have put on any makeup. What do you think about that, John? <laughs> probably work. It'd probably work. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's always bringing me yarn, so my niece brought that color yarn. But I like, I prefer the like two colors or three colors together, not not a whole bunch. But. Oh, well, this certainly is bright and it's a happy color. It's oh, happy yeah, well, yeah. Now, you were saying you used to make afghans. I mean, you knitted for years, right? Mm -hmm. Who taught you how to knit? I, myself. You taught yourself? Cool. My mother knit and crocheted, but then she wasn't there at the time, so I just sat down and started. <laughs> wow, that's pretty cool. I don't crochet, though. You don't crochet, mm -mm. but you do knit. So mm -hmm. how many afghans do you Oh, my you? grand. When you have eight... There are eight of us, and they all got one. My son, I have two. My granddaughter has them at her place now. I don't have them here. Mm -hmm. And one I made when we had an auction at our church when we had built on, I uh, did some adding on or something, some work on it. I made one for that is at the auction, and oh, I don't, again, lost count. <laughs> How long does it take you to knit it? Quite a while. Quite that's, a while. Why I'm, that's why I'm doing those. <laughs> See, that's one thing when you get retired. You don't have to do the long, long, no, long. the arduous things. It takes things a long anymore. time. <laughs> and I made prayer shawl for a church couple. Prayer oh, shawls. Oh, that's cool. We had a thing one, you know, a thing yeah. one year for prayer shawls. Mm -hmm. Well, that's interesting, and that's good. So, and a real, real good friend of mine got one of mine. <laughs> she did. Yeah, I she, bet that was special. She passed her. away now, Eleanor Anderson, but she, she she got one of my parasols. Oh, what a comfort that would yeah. be to mm -hmm. her and to you to know that you were able to mm -hmm. be with your friend in a special way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, it was nice. <laughs> yeah. So, Joan, you're not into crocheting or knitting. No. Ever? Yeah. <laughs> Ever. We let Darlene do all of that. <laughs> I... God. Crocheted a rug you, once. You crocheted a rug once? Yeah. Does somebody still around have it? Around and around and around. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's the way it is with crocheting and rugs. Round and round and round and round. <laughs> and it were a hole in the middle, so. Oh, so that was the end of that. Well, at least you tried it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you just have to try things to yeah, see that that's, you Well, that's right, that's right. <laughs> just like different patterns. Yeah, Sometimes, yeah. like for knitting, is <laughs> some pattern you like better than others, or? Oh, yeah, I guess so. I made the Marcel, uh, it's called the Marcel in um, Afghan, and the other one was called um, Oh gosh, I can't remember. I was on the American Legion Auxiliary Magazine, and, and that was in 1950 something. Wow! And I still have the Do magazine. You still have that magazine? Well, I'm going to take a look at that. Yeah, I, I can't that. remember. I never, never remember what it's called. I made so many of that kind. Yes. Well, <laughs> once you find a favorite, it's hard to let it go. <laughs> yeah. So it's nice to know that that here at Emmanuel, that the residents are continuing to be busy. They are continuing to use their artistic talents and I know that many of you have these hanging up in your rooms and I've even seen them in the hallway because we like to have mm -hmm. it enjoy artwork and I know too that you even have given these away as gifts oh and many of them I lost them you make count. <laughs> <laughs> count but if you have okay what kind of yarn is this again cotton called um, Peaches and cream. Peaches and cream. So if anybody has any leftover peaches and cream cotton that you have no idea what to do with, <laughs> this lady over here is still going full of guns. I don't suppose you're going to tell us your age, but I bet you're over 60. Oh, heavens, I'm 89. You're 89. Oh, Tarlene's 89, and she's still making these wonderful dishes. I can't believe I'm 89. But <laughs> <laughs> well, you can be anything I you want, I just was the 14th of August. Oh, she just had her birthday. Well, yeah. congratulations yeah. and happy Thank birthday. You. <laughs> So this is Joan, and this is Darlene, and we're continuing to And I was celebrate. a triplet, too. And you're what? I was a triplet. You were a triplet? The boy died, but... We've got more things to tell. Yeah, my sister lives in Moorhead, and we, we were together for our birthday. For your 89th birthday. I can't believe it. We're continuing to celebrate around here, and we hope you are, too. 
This is Vicki and Darlene and Joan wishing you a great day.